It's a thrill to welcome the stars of Warm Bodies. We have a beautiful young lady joining us again, Teresa Good to and see the you. zombie. Very nice to meet you. Oh, you're gonna have a talking role doing? today, yeah. huh? <laughs> just just for a little bit. He no, speaks. we just missed out on hearing you sing Sweet Home Alabama from an Australia girl. Oh, it was hilarious. It was a very bad rendition. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome to the South. Uh, What's acting. harder, acting to a zombie or acting to a human during the movie? Ooh. I, he had the more challenging role, definitely. Uh, no, from a, from a character standpoint, it's very difficult for my character because all he wants to do is uh, try and communicate with this beautiful living girl and explain that he doesn't want to eat her brains, that, <laughs> that he, he wants to look after her, and he does, doesn't have the words to explain that. Um, and she's terrified of him, obviously, because he's a zombie, so it's tricky. Yeah, it's funny, there are, there are points in the movie, I'm remembering this now, where Julie gets really annoyed by him. She's like, stop shrugging, shrugger, because <laughs> that's all he can do to really express himself. Yeah. Uh, Tell us what happens, because a lot of the, the scenes happen on a plane. You're talking to him. Yes. Is there a voice talking back to you to help you with your acting? I mean, um, how does it work? No, there wasn't actually, but Nick is such a great actor that he was able to express so much just through his facial expressions and his body language and he could, uh, you know, he really was speaking volumes to me without being able to open his mouth and say specific words. But uh, yeah, so I never felt like it was a challenge at all. I initially was intimidated by the idea of just doing all the talking, but it wasn't, it wasn't hard at all. I felt terrible. And even when I did have like one line, I'd manage to forget it. Teresa would. Be, Teresa would be talking for pages, pages and pages, and then I'd hear and I'd be waiting stop, for her. Stop talking, and I'd look at her, and I'd be like, "Oh, hang on, she's stuck." I'm like, I'd be like oh. so it's either <laughs> safe or it's not eat or." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With your missing. part, a lot of it's voiceover. Yeah. So as you were walking, did you he time it? How did you time? There, it to there the were times over? when we timed it to the voiceover to make sure that it worked and that, but we actually changed the voiceover a fair bit from from what we what was originally in the script. Um, Jonathan Levine came up with a new funny take on it and, um, and it really works. It gives you a little insight into the zombie's mind, uh, mind frame and frame of mind. Yeah, mind frame. That was, yeah, frame. Well, that was good. Frame, yeah. Had it right the first time. Yeah, okay. Uh, and, it, and it gives you a little insight into him and, he, and he's a very witty uh, zombie who um, is kind of charming in many ways because, uh, because of the state of mind he's in. How yeah. often do you have to stay in zombie state, like to be able to do this walk, which you had to teach her to he do? He was method the whole time. He, was, he was really stayed zombie. Method. Even, yeah. Eating like we'd brains. go out, we'd out for dinner, they brains, please. <laughs> but I wouldn't even order it like that. I'd just go, mm -hmm. And then if they didn't understand what I was asking for, I would just... Punch them. Smash their heads up and, and eat their brains. Who signed brains. on first? Who signed on first? Did he did. You? So I when you saw Nicholas in the movie, totally, or...? How did yeah. you feel about it? I was like, <laughs> Nicholas Holt, the last guy? No, I, um... <laughs> It was, it was fantastic. I obviously knew of his work from About a Boy, which is very good in. And then we were supposed to do a film together as well. We were actually meant to, I was supposed to be in Mad Max when it was going a few years ago. So yeah. I knew of him, we had met before, and then we, we met, met in the- before and Teresa didn't remember I it. didn't remember. We <laughs> got to the audition that. and I was like, hey, lovely to meet you. I've heard so much about you. You're like, well, we actually had that big group we dinner. We had a dinner thing. where we sat next to each other together for quite a while chatting. And I was obviously very memorable. <laughs> so, I've got a really bad memory, I do. No, but no, he fine. was definitely a great draw card. He's very talented. So Nicholas, when you get the script, did your agent say, I've got a role for you, but it's a non-talking role? How did he present it to you at first? You know what, I'd, I'd heard murmurs about the script from other people who had read it, and they were like, there's this really interesting script that you might be good at. Um, and, then, and then I read it and was like, wow, this is really cool. It's a different take. Uh, the character's some, someone that I really care for and understand and, and thought I could maybe do a good job with. Um, and, and then me did. and Jonathan went for dinner, thank you, and me and Jonathan went for dinner and we were kind of on the same page and I went around his house and did a weird audition where <laughs> I'd, like, pretend, I'd written like all these notes and come up with all these ideas and then suddenly he was like, okay, action. And I was like, uh, <laughs> zombie, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and that was it and, and it kind of went from there. Yeah, and for you as this director, working with this director, you've worked with so many accomplished directors. Oh. How did they bring out such a, a good part of you in it? Well, um, Jonathan Levine, I have been a fan of for a long time. I actually saw one of his first movies, The Wackness, and I thought it was so great and gritty and just raw, and I loved the soundtrack. And then I, I really had to fight for this role. I, I auditioned for it two or three times. I sent an email, and I, like, 
put myself on tape doing a scene from the film, which they did not ask for. And then I, I had uh, a meeting with Jonathan on top of it. And um, just from the meeting, I knew that his vision for this movie was really spectacular and different. And he is very talented at, at um, having a film set in a situation that could be quite heavy, like 50-50, but then injecting a little bit of humour in there as well and keep it quite grounded and it's really people making the best of a bad situation. He's fantastic at that, so, so I felt very safe in his hands. So did you get the yes after you sent in your videotape? Or? Finally, I did. <laughs> we had a one uh, chemistry read and then I auditioned again and then I sent in the videotape and I was like, Please. What, were you a zombie in the tape? The chemistry I, read you I, too. No, it was I feel really like American Idol or something. I, I did the scene which is thankfully not in the movie um, because I'm not very good at singing and I had to like sing and dance and I had to pretend I was dancing with the zombie and it was horrifically embarrassing to the point where Jonathan Levine told me that he got the tape he watched it alone and he decided not to show anybody else because <laughs> he had already made the decision that I was going to be the girl but he's like you know what I'm just going to keep that to myself that's so good so it was obviously really bad I want to see that really <laughs> no, bad it's terrific. as we begin to wrap up for you what was it about this film that set it apart for each of you? It was just something new and different and, and great characters, a, a, a really heartwarming story um, and something that I, th I think people will really enjoy and, and, and enjoyed making. And for me, I, you know, it's so refreshing to see an original cool idea like this. I think so many times in Hollywood everyone's making carbon copies of films that have already been done and this is just a new thing. And that was exciting to be a part of that. And, and then obviously to work with these guys and, and Jonathan. It's wonderful. Oh, that was sweet. Yeah. Yeah. You need to go, ah, oh, Americans ah. would go, ah. Oh. No. We'll wrap it up with this. Given you your so tremendous much. success to both Thank of you. Uh, what advice would you give to anyone else out there pursuing their dreams, given what you've been able to achieve? Let's, ladies first. Oh, me. Um, look, don't give up. You are going to be definitely coming up against a lot of hurdles and there's peaks and valleys in this career for sure but yeah just keep moving forward and brush yourself off and stay positive it sounded nice coming from Australia Thanks. right with that accent uh, huh? yeah, yeah. <laughs> stay bloody positive yeah. I, I, I second that I think that was very very sound advice work hard go for it that's, mm -hmm. that's all you can do really, keep your it? enjoy it good spirits about you I think that's really important well, this is a good spirited film. Thank you so much Thank for you. bringing the characters to life like you did. And we'll look forward to following your career from here on. Thank nice you one. so much. Good to see you. Cheers, great. Nice one. Thank you.